what we have here today is not only the tallest bridge in the state of Minnesota, what's important to note is it's made with all 100% American-made steel built by 100% union workers and contractors and one of the finest bridges you'll see anywhere here in this country and in this world. This project's about partnerships and collaboration and everybody coming together to make this thing happen. And it, and it really did take everybody out here to make this happen and then some. Um, I want to start by thanking the boots on the ground. It's the most amazing thing to me is the teamwork and the relationships and the cooperation. So I, I, uh, not only at MnDOT, eight state agencies, we had an agency sub-cabinet, our partnership with Federal Highway, the engineering team was huge. You know, none of us have built a highway or a bridge through an old mine pit. And talk about all the what ifs and the what well, we call them risks, but all the bad things that could happen and have plans how to handle them up front and actually retire a lot of those risks before we even put a shovel in the ground. This is, without a doubt, an engineering and construction marvel and a true tribute to the contractors, the engineers, MnDOT, and our union workers who put it all together. And let's give them a great big round of applause. This taught me a lot about teamwork. And when we're here sitting today, I don't see Republicans, I don't see Democrats, I see Iron Rangers together celebrating a historic achievement for our region that'll stand for generations to come, a 50-year project. We formed an expedited process that normally this could have gone on for probably another year and a half, two years, and we worked together to get it done. Two, three! I think it just gives us a little bit more of visibility to uh, other parts of the state that, you know, we're up here and uh, things should be going forward for us too. So as, you know, as a community and, and a miner, we're all miners up here, so. It keeps EVTAC alive. And when you think about the amount of steel that went into this bridge, and it's all American steel made with iron ore from this area, it shows the importance of this area and how we keep not just here alive, the whole United States, the whole world. We got steel going all over the world from our mines. There's a whole lot of parallel moving parts here. And uh, so our part's almost done and uh, it'll be kind of joyous and sad all at the same time. We're gonna miss this, uh, but we're happy.